Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my capital ship, Shipyard, in the Empyrean Galactic Survival Workshop, and codename Broadsword. We are here in Aft Engineering, where there's been a couple of extra little tweaks. Seems to get little tweaks and changes in here every week. And it's a good place to start one end of the ship before going to the other. So let's have a look. What have we been up to? And I'm on foot. I'm not flying in God mode because I'm testing the stairs. All right. Well, in case you didn't spot it, we've added an elevator here. And this goes up into this space, which is not yet capped off. The deck above has got to be put in to seal it. And this is our fuel and oxygen store, our aft, uh, after deck fuel and oxygen store. And as you can see, it's quite extensive, but it's still nowhere near enough to take care of this ship. This is going to be just one of several fuel and oxygen stores. And in addition to that, we're going to have to scatter extra stores throughout the ship now do we want to go through there get fried uh, probably not so let's just head down and out this way there we are we can come up on the outside of the shield room which you've seen before and this area is still like this ready for accepting either a kitchen area or dining area whatever or the med bay one side or the other haven't decided which this general accommodation and entertainment area is now walled off as you can see and we've got the ceiling in so the deck to the next level is done it's still in gray box phase it's still all got to be internally divided and laid up and then textured and furnished and all the rest of it but it's progressing and that's the point of the thing right now there's the, the stairs down to aft engineering this is the area that will become the kitchen or the med bay there's the warp core and just immediately forward of the warp core we've got this little room which has got the uh aft gravity generator in this is new it's one of the jobs that i got done this week and up here because the gravity generator is a two by two not a three by three we can't put it dead on the center line so symmetrically opposite on the diagonal is this one second and forward um, gravity generator this is the elevator that goes down into uh, the hangar we'll go down that in a moment that just at the mo for now goes up into space we'll have a look up there in a second as well this is um, forward upper engineering as you can see we've got fuel tanks mounted in the ceiling we've got oxygen tanks mounted in the walls in there we've got a generator tier one large in there we've got that's the uh, bow most forward most um, decoy generator in the bow that's behind something like 12 or 13 blocks of combat steel and then you get to the point of the bow and over here we've got another generator room so I've put these doors and heavy windows in I mean we may end up having to put fuel tanks in these rooms but I put these heavy windows and doors in just to protect against any blast because the these side generators here although forwards they've got about eight or nine blocks of combat steel in front of them on the axis of the generator on the diagonal there they've only got about three or four so these are sacrificial generators they work under normal circumstances 
providing power to the ship, as does that one. Let's just have a look in the room. You see we've got lots of space here for adding different stuff. Um, should be able to get at least a tier 2 fuel tank or oxygen tank each side in here. Um, so this was a lot of work getting this area sorted out because I had to plan let's just get up onto this I had well I didn't mean to do that there we go I had to plan this area out in terms of putting in that um, combat steel deck as a blast room between the different areas and if i just go into god mode for a second and fly up the white markings there the three white markings are the generator positions and although you can't because of the slope on the outer, outer side you can't see the full extent of the armor in front so one two three four five six seven eight blocks of combat steel in front of that um, forward generator the central one and from the front one two three four five four and a half five blocks of combat steel in front of the generator at the side but to the side only two and a half blocks as you can see so they are sacrificial now what that probably means is that in the next stage of building out this um, protective deck, I'll have to use combat steel across there to protect from blast coming through into the fuel tanks. It means I probably won't be able to put fuel tanks in this area, which I really want to do because we need to get a lot of fuel tanks in this ship. And I was hoping to get another pair of the tier three large fuel tanks here there is space for it, but it makes them vulnerable. Um, so we would have been, I was hoping to be able to get four fuel tanks here. We might not be able to. We will, I think, safely be able to get another eight fuel tanks on top of those eight, which will help immensely towards achieving the goal. Um, in the Nemesis GBX, which is a modification of the Nemesis GT by Jeff Randall. If I remember correctly, there are 36 fuel tanks. That's a lot of fuel. And currently, we only have, in here, we only have 16. So we've got to find homes for another 20 fuel tanks just to come up to the level of the Nemesis and the nemesis is a size nine currently this is a size six but its size is increasing the more blocks that i add and oxygen tanks we've got 20 oxygen tanks in place surprises i didn't realize we had that many but i'll go with it um again we need to get that up to about three dozen to take care of the ship ideally more probably need about 40 in total and the oxygen tanks being non-explosive when hit i can probably afford to put them or put some of them in the hangars alongside the oxygen stations i have a, a design idea that i've used on a couple of my bases um in in the workshop uh, one of them as well so i may do that and that'll take some of the pressure off finding homes for them. Now, what else have I been up to? Well, if I just get back down on the deck. And it's lovely having the, the gravity generators and being able to run around. So we took a look at the accommodation deck and we saw what's gone on. Oh, there was a slight change in the farm in that we've lost that potential office area up there. It had to be sacrificed to armor so that's now a reinforced area that's the the main change in the farms so we need to get oh 
we need to have a look at this after end. Do we? No, sorry. I'm th I'm getting turned around. It's the forward end we have to look at. We need to go down into here and I haven't painted that texture, that floor. I need to get that done. And here in the production deck, this is the main production deck. This is the forward end of the ship, remember? Um, we've got the second shield in. This is the tier two shield. And up there, we've got the detector, scanner, whatever you want to call it. In a nice little housing that fits with the general deck all based around the shield. We've got this little blast absorption space in here, directly behind the big XL forward engines. And this hasn't changed in here. We, although I have blocked that out and made it solid instead of having those little shooty holes. So all textured up. The texturing is temporary at the moment. It may well change. So back out here and in this area, either side of the forward shield, I've put my usual half dozen boxes for the different types of ship components. As you can see on that side, you've got the base parts and the CV parts and then the base stroke CV parts. That's for the blocks that have got two dots on them. If I go into my inventory, we should have some. So let's have a look. Yeah, there. that's a CV part. It's only got the yellow dot. That's a base or CV part. It's got the red and yellow dot. I need to put a box in for these ones with four dots, the universal components. Um, then after that, we're laughing and we're looking at getting in the boxes for things like surplus tools, surplus weapons, surplus armor, all the stuff that we would gather as we went round, which we then sell when we get near a station that's got traders. So all of those need to go in. I want to keep those all in this forward section of the production deck because back here in this after section is where I want to have all the constructors. So if you manually want to go to the boxes, you'll have a short run between the constructors and the cargo or controllers and the boxes, or just look at the deck, press P, bring up devices, go into your list of cargo boxes and you can find every cargo box and cargo array on the ship. And that's how we do things. Right, so in here, partially textured. It's a little bit plain at the moment. Need to spice it up. A oh, excuse me, spice it up a little bit. I've got the different cargo controllers labeled. So that's the cargo control side in production for 320 KSU. Here is ammo control at 320 KSU. Oops. And over here, port side on production deck. And the harvest control. Yes, we will have harvesters. We will be using um, tool turrets rather than direct drills. And they will be obviously for salvaging primarily. But if I can get them in the right position, there won't be anything to stop us using them for ripping out the ore from asteroids. So this area, as I said, that's going to be the production storage bay up there. The central area, I haven't yet decided exactly what I'm going to do with it, but this area is a little bit dead space-ish at the moment because I don't have a plan exactly for it. I may just leave it empty to leave flexibility for you guys to do what you want to do. Back here will be the constructors area, large and, uh, sorry, advanced and smalls. Use the smalls for uh, munching ores as you uh, fly about. In here, I've got the tier four CPU extenders and an alternative position for the main core. And if I go back into God mode, and we fly straight back through here. You can see here's the aft shield. This is the tier, tier one shield, which for some reason has lost its um, coloring. I'll have to put that back on. 
just the same as that box has lost its coloring for some reason these things happen and also that's out of place i guess i sprayed I, I must have been inside a block like this when i was texturing and the texture flew through into here which would explain why those two have lost their coloring i'll put them back on later um so what was i looking at oh yes we come through into here there's the core in aft engineering there and it's it is very heavily protected from the outside world um but the main weakness for that aft core is down through here if we go down through this deck you can see we've got one full block two full blocks and then the outside world so at the right angle there is only two levels of combat steel then that light and this block protecting the core but it you have to be in exactly the right angle because if you re if you remember coming in from underneath you've got that channel and you do have to fire at exactly the right angle into that channel in order to get at that core coming in from the top is not a problem there is so much armor and so many decks that will between be between space and the core that it is very heavily protected it's just that one weak direction from below so for that reason i've put an alternative core placement straight down the alignment here through the shield room and down a, a little bit as you can see but it's got a lot more armor around it um, on the lower side so that's an alternative position for the main core and i'm going to put one up forward somewhere so that you'll have three positions that you could choose from to put your core and just keep any enemies guessing if you're using it in a pvp arena so that's the primary um work that's been done this week we've also also got um did i show point out the roof on this you see we've got all the piping on the ceiling in there um that deck there the um the substructure deck is now complete on the center section of the ship i need to work on this forward section get a few more fuel tanks in here finish filling out that cavity um, bring it to the same level as the rest of the deck i'm thinking i might might put one more ring of combat steel up the angled sides and a ring a, a line of combat steel across the front of there and then the rest of it i'll just use hardened steel in there to save weight so that's how she's looking for now i hope you're finding this interesting i've not done anything in the oh well, i have done something in the hangars let's just have a quick look at that a very quick look in that down here at the aft end where we had the cargo array controller i've done a preliminary texturing and added a cargo id display and what has happened while i've been doing this is that it has highlighted that i'm going to need to change this little bit here on the side of the elevators in order to get air tightedness throughout the elevator system because i need to put a um, force field screen there to invoke air tightedness i need blocks on this side which means that that wedge block there has to go because i can't push the force field up that side of that elevator block and then I can get a uh, force field on this side for getting onto this veranda, balcony, whatever you want to call it, for wandering along here. And this is probably where I'll end up putting the medical devices, is up here. Um, we've got some armor blocks there that we can take out. 
and we can mount the medical devices on the wall up there which is great i still haven't attacked that wall so i need to get that done that will be a project for another week um it's basically i just i don't like the uh the mail slot wall as it is it's okay from the outside but it's not not so good from the inside might be different once i get it textured maybe add a little bit of greebling um it might look a lot better but i'm just i'm not entirely happy with the way that that looks from the inside but as i say another another week for that project so we've uh, we've made quite a lot of progress this week we've topped out the accommodation deck we've got the forward and aft fuel stores done and we've got the gravity generators in in their own rooms remembering that they do kick out a little bit of radiation so it's best to isolate people from them and uh, we've got some of the interconnection stuff done some of the uh, secondary bulkheading done and we've started on the production floor so see what surprises we got next week right okay i'm out of here i'm the gazbeard this is project broadsword in empyrean galactic survival in my cv shipyard and i hope you're enjoying this if you are give the video a like please give the video a like leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel all it costs you is a click if you do subscribe please click the bell icon and then you get told when new videos go up and you'll be able to catch them early and enjoy all their goodness and the warmth and dulcet tones of my croaky old voice this is your favorite old fart signing out i'm the gasbeard as always from me it's not goodbye it's just bye for now